it don't matter who you love. I can't wait to ice your body. I might spend more than a dub. Hey, you press the camera. Yeah, 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 this is your man Kilogram, this is episode 98, featuring the young Trenton Hitter, my man, young scared dude, right? What's up with y'all today? Okay, that's yeah. what's up, man, this episode is called More Than A Dub, if you sign us, we need mm-hmm. more than a dub, mm-hmm. we Cracking can't take up. no 20,000, we, we need a Lisa M, you heard to make things happen, Juicy Jalene! Yo, yo, yo! What's good with you, mama? Not much. How was your weekend? How was your Christmas? It was great. Okay, what you get? What I get? Yeah, what you the guys showing you love? All right, all right, we not you know doing we're going all right that. Into that. We not going to do that. Get you? My mom got me <laughs> <laughs> um, some stuff at my house. You okay, know, so your I'm mom a grown up you. now. You okay. know, what you got like curtains and all that? No, stuff? she bought me kitchen stuff because I needed new kitchen stuff. Bath and Body Works had to sell on candles. Did I you don't. Get out there and get no, but one of my kids from my school what? got me some candles from Bath and Body Works. Right. What your man get you? What man? <laughs> okay, all right, cool. All right, my man, Young Skin, do you celebrate Christmas? Yeah. Oh, you, you, you don't like, sound yeah. too sure. Yeah, you said you thought yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, what you get for Christmas? Sorry. I see that I ice on your neck, man. Was that a gift or you been had that? Nah, I've been had this. All right, uh, what the ladies get you, man? Money. Money? <laughs> they cash up you crazy? Cash up crazy. Oh, that's what's up, man. <laughs> that's what's up. Like I told y'all before, this is episode 98, what, man. What, I'm so what? excited to have a Trenton Young vet in the building, man, from A Plus Music Group, the homie Young Scando. And um, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? We've been heavy with Trenton this week. We had BH last week. We got Young Scando. He also bought his homie on the label, Gunna Guapo. So we're going to get right into the interview, man. So I'm going to ask you, uh, where were you uh, Were you raised in Trenton? Born yeah. and raised? Or? Yeah, I was born and raised in North Trenton. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you're from the north side, 682 yeah. Boulevard Action or what? Uh, Dolly Homes. Dolly Homes? Okay. Yes, sir. No problem. And um, did your family move? Like, is all your family from Trenton, or like, you know, like, did y'all uh-huh. come from the south? Or? Well, I mean, we all from here, but I got right. some like family that moved, like Atlanta or like New York or Maine. Okay. Family, okay. I got family all over though. All right, that's what's up. All right, first, I'm going to ask you how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let the people know. I'm 17. <laughs> Woo! Okay. 17. All right. Let's talk yeah. the scandal. So Let's talk the scandal. Go ahead. You, you still a kid, right? Yeah. That's why I had to ask you. I had to change my question up a little bit right. for mm-hmm. you. So, But your childhood, did you grow up in a two-parent household? Like, how was it growing up? You're yeah. still growing up, but... I had a mom and dad in my household. Okay. Yeah, That's both of them. In the town, that's rare. Yeah. Right? In Dolly Homes, mom and dad, yeah. and the mom and dad. Jeez. So school life, you still in school? Yeah. You so a you senior? Go to the high? No, nah, I got nah, I got kicked out. Try high. <laughs> 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 I ain't try high no more. So so, do you play any sports? Do you do anything besides rap? Like I, n- not now, but I used to play ball for family. Basketball? That, yeah, that was all though. I ain't really. What like position family. you played? PG. You not nice. Who? That's why you stop. Nah, I stopped because I'm trying to rap. Oh, all right. Yeah. Seventeen. I I, I at least thought you was twenty, bro. I, ain't gonna lie, I don't know how you see it. I'm more impressed now that you seventeen. When yeah. I look at your IG, what you doing? You know, with the help of your brother Jules, and mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Like you doing, you you moving like a big dog at For seventeen. Sure. That's crazy. All right, so um. Who were your early inspirations in rap? Like, you know what I mean? What made you wake up one day and say, yo, I'm I'm about, I'm about to rhyme? Like, like who like who inspired you to do this? It's really all my homies. Like, I don't really okay. look up to nobody that's already on if and shit, family. Like I look up to people that's trying. Okay, so, so give I me some my names brothers. In, like in the neighborhood that you said, okay, I seen him do it, so he inspired me. I look up to all my bros, like okay. Gunner, I look up to Gunner, I look right. up to my man's wax. Okay. He locked up, family. I look up to all my bros and shit. Right. They my inspiration. Okay, so they got you off the porch, like when you wrote mm-hmm. your first round. Mm-hmm. Is that like when did you know you was nice? Uh, July seventeenth, twenty twenty. Oh, we know yeah. the exact date. <laughs> you had the date. Yeah. Now why July? When, when, what? Why, Cause that's why when that I dropped date? my first song. Okay, dope. What's the name of that record? Uh, Lifestyle or some shit like okay. that. And did it go up? Hell yeah, on SoundCloud though. It ain't go up on YouTube, but okay. on SoundCloud it went up. Yeah. That's what's up. So how did you meet Jules from A Plus Music Group? I met bro. He was already fucking with my homies and shit. I was already family. So like I was just, I seen his page this one, this one day and shit. I'm just looking at his page and shit. Right. And I seen he got all the homies on the uh, the roster and shit. And I think it was Ken Love. He had dropped some little song and shit. And I'm like, damn, like bro really like right. family helping bro and them get up out of here, family. Right. That's how I came across bro. So what made you sign to the label? Like you just seen him. Loyalty, like family. I already know I already knew 
bro wasn't going to put no, like, family, no salt in my ears or none. And, like, everything he was saying was actually, like, coming true and shit. So I was like, family. So, he, so it by. wasn't no big advance. It was just your, his word. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you seen the things that he done with other artists. Yeah, with the like, homies and shit. Uh huh. That's all I need. That little push. All right, that's what's up. So um, I always want to ask the young, active, you know, guys in the town that's that's on the drill type time. Yeah. What's what's the climbing in the town right now for music? Like as far as like, I see you you make you know your style of rap is drill, but what's the climbing in the town? Is it love? Is it like, is it oppy? Like, I'm it's saying, a little bit of both. Like, what's I'm going saying, on? it's always gonna be both though. Like, right. you're gonna have one side that be like, all right, yeah, I fuck with bro. Then you got like people that don't fuck with you. Right. Family, they're gonna be on some hate and shit, but that's regular though. I don't right. know. It's, it's a mixture of both. It. Yeah, right. that's what it come with. Right. And do you think you have what it takes to secure like a major record deal right now? Well, I got whatever it takes right now. <laughs> Go listen to my music. You want to see what's going on. Right. No, no. You so, definitely got the image though. I, I like I, I definitely like how you coming. You know what I mean, Pauls. You feel me? <laughs> oh my God! How was it collaborating with Sugar Hill D Dot on Scando Slide? I said that right. Yeah. Slide. Is it the Scando Slide? How, no. Yeah. How you Scando. say? Scando. Scando okay. Yeah. Scando no Slide. Do. I see he got a lot of followers, like almost a million followers. Nah, yeah. He, so he going up right now, but um, I'm saying though, it it was all love working right. with bro. Like he came in there like he knew me for ten years already. Right. Family, like it was all love. It wasn't nothing. Like he wasn't trying to be Hollywood or nothing. Family, it was just on some regular shit. I wasn't surprised or nothing when I seen him. Look at me, look at me. Scooby shot it. I game fourth quarter. Scan this R six. What's the uh, the rollout for that record? Like, is that coming after uh, uh, more than the dub? Like, is nah, that the next single? I, I think I got something that come before it, right. that scandal slide job. I think yeah, okay. yeah, I got something before that. It's not more than dub though. All right, all right. So um, what I know about A Plus Music Group, um, there was a lot of artists that came before you, um, such mm -hmm. as uh, King Reek, um, G Skino, Rec Banger, Ken Love, just to name a few. Mm -hmm. um, these guys put up crazy numbers. Um, I remember King Ray had something with uh, Yellow Beezy, mm -hmm. billboards in the city. Like, for you to fly this flag, this A-plus music group flag, right after all of these type of names, yeah. is it a lot of pressure on you to deliver? Like, do you feel like, wow, like... Nah, I just feel... I don't know. I don't feel no way. I feel right. like... I don't know, because I've always been a known type of person, so right. it ain't nothing new to me, family. Right. Like, I don't know. Ain't nothing really new, but... He said he the man at 17. <laughs> Got it. But you didn't feel intimidated like when Jules said, yeah, let's go. You didn't feel like, damn, what's Nah, because that's what I wanted. Oh, you that's wanted what that I pressure? Wanted that shit. Yeah, I wanted him to put that pressure on my back so it was normal when I right. family finally joined the team. Right. It was just on some like family shit like I knew y'all already. Okay. Yeah. So you recently had your single More Than A Dub played on Power 99 in Philly. Yeah. How did you feel about that and what did Trenton say about that? Uh, I mean, I was happy about it, you know? Like, right. That was my first time being on the radio and shit, so I was happy about that. The love and churn, it was regular. Like I expected it to go up more, but it didn't do as much. But family, 
Was that the first time it played, or is it like this is like a week? Like it's been on for two, three weeks. Already? Oh nah, that was the first time. Like okay. the first, right. first time. All right. No so I was happy about that. Though. I'm proud of myself. You feel me? I came a long way. I mean, for 17, that's a great accomplishment. Absolutely. Yeah. Be on the radio at 17, and like you said, you still in high school or you doing home tour, yeah. or whatever you doing. But it's showing that you probably ain't been rapping long. Like, yeah, not you know, long, like three years. Like three years. So yeah. you started at 14, yeah. you got your first song on the radio in three years. Mm -hmm. That a lot, it takes people That's 10 good. to 20 uh -huh. years to get Word up, I'm already so, known. Salute to you and your label and your guys. It, it shows sure. that you, you, you were smart enough to go with a winning team. Word you up. feel me? So I salute sure. that. But um, who, who's your top five drill artists right now that you listen to? What you mean by drill, though? Like I mean, because, you know, I, when I think of drill, I think of, like, K-Flock, them guys like that. So guys, you're that, saying no auto? Like, no... No auto-tune? Yeah. Not, yeah, that's So crazy. you're not singing. That's crazy. Huh? Yeah, that's crazy, because at the end of the day, was, you know, like I said, some people doing the auto-tune, right, and they labeling it as drill. That's so, what I'm saying. So the real drill artist is saying, if you do auto-tune, that ain't drill. Yeah. So King Von was drill to you. Yeah. But yeah. you're not saying TJ is drill. No. TJ's no, nah. melodic. Yeah. All right, so give me your top drill. I mean, no uh, auto-tune. No auto-tune. Right. Uh, uh, I say, um, who in your Because I'm trying to think about this deep, though, because I really got a good roster with the drill scene. So um, if we going to say, if we going to keep it in New Jersey. Right. I say, like, D-Rose. Okay. Torch and them, like, Feezy right. and them. Like, I say them. Right. But if we but say if we like mainstream. yeah, if we say mainstream, I say like T Grizzly. T um, Grizzly drilled. Dude? Yeah, he great, bro. He's drilled. First day out was drilled. That's drill. First day out is most definitely drill. That's different. I just thought like it was most an definitely nah. Just on that's it. most <laughs> definitely drill. Okay, because right. you gotta think about it. He's saying like he just talking yeah, about yeah, everything yeah, that's yeah, going yeah, on yeah, in the street. So I that's can see that. Drill. I can see it. I, ne yeah. I didn't look at it like that, but I can see it though. Who else? Is uh, K Flock drill? Yeah, that's okay. drill for sure. All right. But I'll say uh, King Von too. I fought with Von, right. Long Live Von, Fammy. Uh, I fought with, uh, damn, who else I really fought with, man? I'll say like Prince Dre. Okay. I fought with him too. Is NBA drill? NBA? Young boy. Nah, young boy ain't drill, but he oh. got a drill side to him. Okay. He versatile. And Drake, I mean, not Drake, but uh, Dirk. Dirk not drill either. Dirk's not drill. Wow, mm -mm. that's a big thing. That's why I ain't put Dirk up there. Right. If if you was gonna say like my favorite artists, then I right. would have been then like Dirk put him in. and yeah, but Rilo. I, I want to specifically talk people. about drill because I know that's your lane right now. When I, when I, not really. It's not. Nah. When I hear you I rap, sing I more. hear a lot of op talk. I hear a lot of. Uh, yeah, I know, know what's going on, like, but I sing more than I rap though. Feel me? Yeah. I sing I mean, more than I rap. I probably just like. Drop more drill songs. There you go. You so if you compare so yourself to an more. artist, who do you compare yourself to? That's a good so. question. Good question. Dirk. Dirk. Versatile. Okay. Okay. Cause, okay. Cause Femi, if he was to drop an album, he'll be singing on there. Right. But if it's right. ops, pissed him off, he'll drop the drill shit on them. Right. So I like, like uh -huh. okay. Yeah, yeah, drill yeah. that right. was some drill shit. Yeah, I like that. Pissed me off. That, right. that was drill. Femi, like okay. all them songs were like Pusha T and stuff. Them all right. drill songs. Yeah. I got a two. Another um, part to that question was, who is your dream collab? If if Jewel said right now, I got a bag for you. Let's go get anybody. Who are you going to get? Rilo. Well, I don't know Rilo. Rilo Rodriguez. You don't know. Okay, I'm gonna look. I've heard of him. I heard. Yeah. He signed with baby. baby. Okay, so that's that four PF joint. What, what's yeah. the name of the label? Okay. Four PF slash can't be fucked with. Okay, got it. Yeah. And, and you saying he going up right now? So you'll go. He been up. Okay, he been up. Okay. Yeah. All right, and um, he teaching you label. old school. Yeah, uh, exactly. Dream, dream label. label. You, you already on A plus, but A plus slash what? Be All careful, right. Jules might have to knock you out after this. He might you have to knock you Jules got to go in there and you know do the negotiations, so it's all good. You feel me? But I'm saying though, like, all right, before I was with Jules, my right. my label that I always wanted to be with always was Atlantic Records, fam, because that's the only thing I knew for. Real. Okay. So yeah, that was always like my little label. I was like, yeah, I'm always good on that label. Like, uh -huh. family. No problem. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's give the fans your social media. Where can they find your music? All that good stuff. Y'all can find my social media Y U N G S C A N D O O three underscores on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Young Scandal. Right. 
uh, YouTube, Young Scandal. I'm on every platform, iHeartRadio, anything, Apple Music, Spotify, you name it. I'm there. Everything Young Scandal, right. everything R6, right? And I got another question. Um, are you doing features? Yeah. Price, price reasonable? <laughs> what you think you <laughs> I mean, is it at least five hundred and up, or are you starting at that nice band? It should be. Okay, I don't right, know. Cool. I just want to make sure. Yeah, you know I mean, so it works out for everybody. If it's mm-hmm. a young artist that want to get Young Scandal on a record, you doing features right now, or you just saying, look, the, I'm working on the album. I ain't doing no features right now. I mean, I'm. I mean, I'm working on the album, but right. I'm saying though, if it's like a good feature, trying yeah, to come down, sense. yeah. Does it have to on. make sense? Though? Yeah, it got to though. It got to make. What sense. What if the artist is not that good, but they got a bag? That don't matter to me. I don't care about how much money you got. Okay, bro. so you saying I don't want to put mix my brand with somebody yeah. that might be ass? Yeah, I don't care about the money. The money gonna come regardless. Okay. You got a bag. You got a bag. If you ask, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, that was Young Scando right there um, on our segment, uh, episode 98, and it's more than a dub. When he goes in front of those labels with his with his label owner, Jules, they ask him for more than a dub. Please don't offer 20000 30000 They need an M to, to, to keep this train moving, man. So salute. Make sure y'all follow Young Scando on all social media, and that's where we at.